What's going on guys? My name is Cal with Jailbreak Central and today I'm going to be showing you how to clear up some space on your phone. You know, if you have the 16 gigabyte iPhone, maybe space is a problem for you. The photos, mail, stuff starts to take up a lot of space, especially music, um, and you find that you've run out of space. Uh, so these are going to be some tips to go ahead and free up that space or uh, to at least get some of it back. So to start off, if you go into general usage and then manage storage, you can see that my photos and camera are taking up 336 megabytes. Um, so just keep that in mind. I'll go ahead and show you what it is after we change all of this stuff. Uh, the first tip is in photos and camera. If you go into photos and camera and settings, go ahead and turn off my photo stream. My photo stream essentially makes two copies of the photo, one for your device and then one to upload to the photo stream. So you're essentially storing two copies of each photo, which can take up a ton of space. So you can go ahead and turn off photo stream and it will delete them from your device. Now, next up, you're going to want to turn on iCloud photo library beta. Uh, and what this does is it uh, there's also an option for optimized iPhone storage, which you are going to want to check. And what it does is it uploads all of your iPhone's photos to iCloud, which means that it won't be stored on your device, which means more space for other stuff like music, apps, and games. Um, next, you obviously want to take off upload burst photos if it is on, uh, just because it takes way too many and it's not really useful feature at all. Uh, iCloud photo sharing also turn off as well as keep normal photo. This means that there will be a normally exposed photo in addition to the HDR version of the photo, which means that whenever you take a photo, Apple will take two copies. One is an HDR version, which is better quality, and one is a normally exposed version. Uh, you don't really see that one, but uh, it just gets to be a lot of space. It takes up a lot of space in your device when you're storing multiple copies of the same photo. Um, now, if we go back into general usage and then manage storage, you can see that my uh, photos and camera have taken up almost nothing, 163 megabytes. So it's dropped about 200 megabytes, which is a lot. Um, now, it's different for every device. I also recommend going ahead and deleting some old photos that you're not going to use. That will also help. Now, the next tip is in mail, contacts, and calendars. Go ahead and click on that. Click on your Gmail account there. And then click on advanced at the bottom. Now you will see an option that says move discarded messages into deleted mailbox or archive mailbox. Now it should be default uh, check to archive and that is bad. You want to change that to deleted mailbox because what it does is whenever you delete an email, it doesn't send it uh, away. It doesn't delete it from the device. It actually puts it in a separate folder, which is an archive mailbox. Um, now it's important to check that because Basically, whenever you're deleting mail, it doesn't actually delete it. It's still on your device. So if you change it to deleted mailbox, it will be gone forever and take up a lot less space. Uh, switch the phone there because the lighting, but uh, <laughs> if you scroll down, the next tip will be in messages. Now, messages, there's an option for message history, and the default will be forever. This means that all of your messages will be kept forever. Uh, you can change this to 30 days or one year. Uh, and what will happen is it will delete, it will automatically delete all of your last messages, uh, your last text messages or iMessages between uh, however, whatever period you select. So 30 days, any text message uh, after or before 30 days, it will automatically delete. Same with one year. So you guys can go ahead and choose which one of those you want. You know, this is only really useful if you're someone who doesn't really text that important stuff. You're never going to need to look back through your text messages, which a lot of kids probably won't. So you can go ahead and check that and it saves a ton of space deleting all of those messages. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and a share. It really means a lot. If you have any further tips, uh, stuff you think I missed, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and see you guys later.